a noiseless, patient spider. I marked where on a little promontory it stood isolated, marked how to explore the vacant, vast surrounding. It launched forth filament, filament, filament out of itself, ever unreeling them, ever tirelessly speeding them. And you, O oh my soul, where you stand, surrounded, detached, in measureless oceans of space, ceaselessly musing, venturing, throwing, seeking the spears to connect them, till the bridge you will need be formed, till the ductal anchor hold, till the gossamer thread you fling catch somewhere, O oh my soul. I first heard a noiseless patient spider when I was in elementary school in sixth grade, and I loved the poem. I was so surprised to be so moved by a poem that was written by an old man a long time ago, but I knew instantly, or I thought I did, I knew instantly what he meant. I, I felt that sense of being isolated and I was longing to connect. And that to me is what the poem was about. Um, when I was in sixth grade, my idea of connection was pretty narrow. I was looking for a best friend um, in the Anne of Green Gables bosom buddy uh, genre of friendship. Um, but as I've gotten older, I realize that connection there's so many kinds of connection that we can make. We can connect to a place. We can connect to those who are really close to us, but even casual acquaintances are a type of connection and that's really valuable too. Um, so now when I look at the poem, I don't see it as quite as bleak as I did when I was in elementary school. Um, I feel like it's just a very short snippet of time because even the spider, like eventually he does form a web, right? He's not sitting there forever on top of a uh, promontory, you know, flinging out these threads that don't go anywhere or he moves. I mean, eventually he builds his web. And eventually I think um, as I got older, I did find ways to get the connection that I so deeply craved. I still love the poem, and I created a newsletter, which I have called A Gossamer Thread, in honor of Walt Whitman's poem. Um, and the newsletter is just my way to connect with the wider world. And if you're interested, you can sign up in the description below. The newsletter is about well-being, and mindful productivity and creativity. And I have a little bit of serendipity, uh, random, random things that I find interesting that I also like to share with my readers. Again, you can sign up below. And if you liked this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment.